Hey 65 Ford, I'm going to show you guys how I renew the air in aerosol cans. This one, there's still WD-40 in there, but there's not enough pressure to push it out. So I'm going to show you how I do it. A couple things you're going to need. One of them is a, a valve core. This is a used one, just off an old tire. Push it out through the inside. You can see there's cracks in it, but it still seals good enough to use. It needs to have the little core in it. Um, here's a brand new one. Usually these are about a buck, um, sometimes cheaper, sometimes you can, just add, you can just go ask a tire guy and a lot of times they'll just give you one. But this is a valve core, this is, a, this is what you fill up your, your car tire with. Okay. Next, we're going to take off the spray assembly. And this works on this style of aerosol can. Okay. If you look in there, you, you'll see that little bit of a shiny brass. And it's only in, the, it's in there about that far which is virtually the same distance as our little core right here okay and the hole in there is too small to go over there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over the little rubber is gonna make a seal around here you're gonna hook your tire valve to it whether it be this style this style you know, whatever whatever style you have, or even your bike pump. If you got a bike pump, you probably have to use two people. But and we're gonna put pressure in here. Now I've tested a brand new can. And a brand new can of this had about 90 psi or so in it. I was able to find online that these cans hold. You know, WD says they put 95 to 105 psi's in here at 70 degrees. Of course, the warmer it is, the higher the pressure gets in there. But so. If you put in 100 PSI or whatever most standard compressors do, 90 PSI, um, you'll be safe. I'm going to hook my, my tire stem to there. This is blow out air. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on there, push it down. I got air in my can. This has roughly 80 PSI or so in it now. So. This is almost empty now. But, you know, that'll get you what you need, especially if you have a can that has, you know, a quarter of it left and it completely goes out. You know, that'll supply. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually make a aerosol can that you can actually refill with, let's say, the refillable WD-40 or something. And pump it up and reuse it a lot easier than this but I'm going to show you that in the next video so stay tuned um, stay tuned like I said I'm going to do the other video on how to make your own aerosol can put the link right here uh, don't forget to leave a comment below um, rate and subscribe thanks guys